I am your host, Michael Yerby. It's another lovely day in Shreveport, Louisiana. We are five hours away from New Orleans, three hours away from Dallas, and I'm just one minute from getting in your butt if you haven't gotten up to start your day. Welcome to The Breakfast Boost. Good morning, everyone. This is Michael Yerby, your host at The Breakfast Boost, where we sprinkle a bit of wisdom on your morning toast. Before we dive into today's topic, I got a dad joke for you. Why don't secret agents sleep? Because they always undercover. Today, we're going to make up our mind to see the world differently. Welcome to another energizing episode of The Breakfast Boost. Today, we're not just sipping on our morning coffee. We're brewing up a whole new way to face life challenges. We're talking about the growth mindset. It's like updating your mental software to version 2.0, where every challenge is a hidden level in the game of life, waiting to be unlocked. So what's on the menu today? We're serving up a hearty dish of self-improvement with the side of inspiration. We're exploring how tweaking our thoughts from I can't to I can't yet can be a game changer. And let's not forget our boost of the day, a mental mindset shift exercise that's better than your morning stretch. Stay tuned because by the end of this episode, you will be equipped to turn your ops into opportunity moments. And remember, if you find today's episode as rejuvenating as your first cup of coffee, share it, subscribe, and sprinkle a review. It's like leaving a tip for your Mize Barista. Now, let's get our brains buzzing and dive deep into the world of growth mindsets. Hey there, early birds and night owls tuned in. This is Michael Yerby with your daily dose of wake up wisdom on the breakfast boost. You know, I was thinking this morning as I tried to decide between cereal and toast, how life's full of tough choices. But here's something to chew on. In the middle of difficulty lies opportunity. That's the nugget of wisdom from Albert Einstein. And it's our thought of today. Let's break it down, shall we? Life throws curveballs. Like when you spill coffee on your new shirt or your phone decides to take a nap in the middle of an important call. Annoying, right? But what if I told you each of these ops is a secret door to something awesome? You see, having a growth mindset is like wearing special glasses that show your hidden treasure in tricky situations. It's about seeing a tough math problem and thinking, I haven't cracked it yet, but I will. Or getting a no at a job interview and telling yourself this is just one step closer to a yes somewhere else. So today, as you go about your day, whether you're scrolling through your feed, working, studying, or just chilling, try on these glasses. Look at a challenge and ask, where's the opportunity hidden here? Flip the script from I can't to I can learn. It's like turning a bumpy road into a roller coaster. Suddenly, it's an adventure not just in hassle. And hey, let's make it fun. Share your growth mindset moments with us using the hashtag growth mindset boost. Let's flood social media with our wins, no matter how small, because sometimes the biggest victories start with a simple shift in our thinking. That's it for today's Wake Up Wisdom. Keep this Einstein quote in the back of your pocket. And let's turn those difficulties into golden opportunities. Up next, we're diving deep into what a growth mindset really means. And trust me, don't want to miss it. Grab your coffee and let's get our minds growing. Welcome back, friends. You're tuned in to The Breakfast Boost with me, Michael Yerby. We're about to jump into the heart of today's topic, growth mindset. It's like upgrading your brain software to handle life challenges better. So what is this growth mindset thing all about? Imagine two plants. One believes it can only grow so much. That's your fixed mindset. The other believes it can keep growing if it gets sunlight and water. That's your growth mindset. 
we want to be like the second plant. First, let's clear the air about what a growth mindset isn't. It's not just about being positive all the time. It's more like being a detective in your own mind. When things don't go as planned, you don't just throw up your hands and say, well, that's just how it is, or it's in God's timing. Instead, you ask, what can I learn from this? Now, let's talk language. It's powerful. The words we use with ourselves matter a lot. Think about when you try something new. Instead of saying, I can't do this, add a little word at the end, yet. It's like saying, I'm on my way there. That little word, yet, is like the magic key that opens up opportunities. All right, it's tip time. How do we develop this superhero mindset? First, embrace challenges. When things feel hard, that's your signal that you're about to grow. Next, learn from criticism. Instead of getting defensive and calling everybody a hater, get curious. What can this feedback teach me? And finally, value the process, not just the end result. It's like joining every bit of your breakfast, not just the last gulp of your coffee. I got some real life stories to share. Sarah was a marketing professional who always believed she wasn't tech savvy. When her job increasingly required digital skills, she faced a dilemma. Instead of giving up, Sarah adopted a growth mindset. She started with the free online coding courses and dedicated a few hours each week to learning. Over six months, not only did she learn the basic coding, but she also created a small app for her company's marketing campaign. Her new skill not only enhanced her role at work, but also boosted her confidence in learning new technologies. Alex, a naturally shy person, dreaded public speaking. His new role in project management, however, required him to present regularly in front of a large group. Initially, his presentations were filled with anxiety and hesitation. Embracing a growth mindset, Alex sought feedback after each presentation, joined a public speaking club, and practiced regularly. Over time, he transformed his fear into a skill. A year later, he is not only confidently leading project presentations, but also became a mentor to a new group, new members struggling with public speaking. Maria was an amateur painter who enjoyed art as a hobby. She often compared her work unfavorably to professional artists and doubted her abilities. Adopting the growth mindset, Maria decided to view every painting as a learning opportunity rather than a test of her talent. She took classes, experimented with new techniques, and sought constructive criticism. Gradually, her skills and confidence grew. Eventually, she held her own small local expedition, selling several pieces and gaining recognition for her unique style. See, it's all about how we frame our experiences. As we wrap up this part, I want to leave you with a challenge. This week, pick one thing you've been avoiding because it feels tough. Approach it with a not yet attitude. Share your journey with us using Growth Mindset Boost. Let's inspire each other. Stay tuned, folks. We got our boost of the day coming up next. A cool exercise to shift mindsets right here, right now. And remember, if you're enjoying this journey together, hit share, subscribe, and drop a review. Spread the word and let's make growth mindset a trending topic. Hey there, amazing listeners, Michael Yerby here, ready to give today's boost of the day. This is where we put a cherry on top of our Growth Mindset Sunday. Let's roll up our sleeves and dive in. Picture this, you just faced a challenge. Maybe something didn't go your way, a project at work, a personal goal, you name it. Now hold that thought. We're going to do a quick mindset shift exercise. It's like turning on the light in a dark room. Ready? First, think about what happened. Got it? Good. Now let's flip the script. Ask yourself, 
What is one thing I can learn from this? Maybe you discovered a new skill you need to pick up, or maybe you realize you're tougher than you thought. Next, think about how can you use this lesson in the future. It's like finding a secret path in a maze. Suddenly, you got a new way to go next time. Finally, give yourself a pat on the back. Seriously, do it. You've just taken a step towards a stronger, smarter you. How do you feel? A bit brighter, right? This exercise isn't just for today. It's a tool you can use anytime life throws you a curveball. And here's a fun challenge for you. Try this mindset shift every day for a week. When something gets tough, shift your growth mindset light. Share your experience with us using the hashtag growth mindset boost. Let's flood our feeds with positivity and growth. Remember, the only way to grow is to embrace every stumble as a step forward. Keep this little exercise in your back pocket and whip it out whenever you need a boost. That's it for our boost of the day. Stick around for our wrap up where we summarize today's golden nuggets. And don't forget, if today's episode sparked something in you, share it, subscribe, and drop us a review. Let's spread the word and grow together. All right, beautiful people. We're at the end of today's journey on The Breakfast Boost. I am Michael Yerby, and I love every minute of exploring the growth mindset with you. Let's do a quick wrap-up, like tying a neat bow on a gift. Today, we have dived into the ocean of growth mindset. It's all about seeing challenges as a stepping stone and not a stumbling block. Remember, it's not about being perfect. It's about being open to growth. Every time we choose to say, not yet, Instead of I can't, we're planting seeds for our future success. We talked about the power of words and how shifting our language can shift our entire outlook. It's like switching from black and white to full color. Suddenly, everything is more vibrant. And don't forget our boost of the day exercise, reframing our challenges to find the hidden gems of wisdom. Keep practicing it and share your experiences using the hashtag Growth Mindset Boost. Let's make this a movement. Next week, we're going to dive into the myth of multitasking, focusing on what matters. It will be a searing ride, perfect for setting a calm tone for your day. So don't miss it. Before we say goodbye, a big thank you for tuning in. If today's episode sparked a little light in you, pass it on, share it, subscribe, and leave a review on Spotify, YouTube, and our Apple channels. Your support means the world, and it helps us to keep bringing this content to your mornings. And as always, we love hearing from you. Drop us a line, a story, or a thought on how growth mindset is reshaping your world. We're in this together, growing one day at a time. And just like that, we're at the end of today's episode of The Breakfast Boost. I'm your host, Michael Yerby, and it's been an absolute pleasure to kickstart our day together with a chat about the growth mindset. Remember, every challenge is a secret puzzle waiting to be solved, and you got all the pieces. Let's keep building our mindset muscles, turning I can't into I can't yet, and transforming our challenges into victories. If today's chat sparked a little fire in your mind, don't keep it to yourself. Share the episode with your friends, subscribe for more, and drop us a review. Your support is like a high five for our team. And hey, don't be a stranger. Follow us on Discord and WhatsApp for daily nuggets of wisdom, updates, and a whole lot of fun. We're all about making our mornings brighter, one podcast at a time. So until next time, keep your growth mindset game strong. Look out for the next episode, The Myth of Multitasking. Focus on what matters. It's going to be a refreshing dive into calming your mind. Until then, this is Michael Yerby signing off. Keep shining, keep striving, and remember, 
Your morning sets the stage for your day. Make it count one morning at a time.